How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Piggy Bank Piggy Podcast, Bank. our favorite casual gaming podcast with my casual gaming buds here. We have, uh, first of all, my name is Phil. I'm your host for this lovely show. And we have here, coughing up a storm over there, we have Connor Elliott. I wasn't coughing. Oh. That was this week. It was def- definitely See, me. It was 100% me. I'm oh, known I wasn't for having... Attention. I was looking at the camera, I just heard mm-hmm. it, and I saw Connor moving, so I assumed it was Connor. Uh, it may be me. I apologize. Oh! Ha, 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 ha. Look, he spilled that stuff. Look, he spilled it. <laughs> all right. Well, How are you guys all doing today? Pretty good. Uh, walking away from the, the chair there, I'm not going to let him introduce himself. Uh, Tavin mm-hmm. Bothell. Uh, Klutz. Uh, fucking, what's, what's, the, what's the other one? What, what I used to say? Sir Spills a lot. That's what I used to call my, my, my brother because anytime we would go out to eat, he would manage to spill whatever he was drinking. Little brothers. Well, no, my older brother. Oh, your older brother. Well, I, yeah. I was the little brother. Ah, well, that still stands. Older brothers. You know, Tavin was criticizing me, or he gave me a look because I accidentally dripped some down onto the table. Okay, well, and missed, now here he is doing it now. Fucking mouth. I just now he is doing my it. Drink it over. That's what I and he spilled more. Reasonable. And he spilled more You're quantity. A grown man you have more quantity, more quantity. And I didn't miss my mouth. I opened it, and it was heavier than I thought, so it spilled out. Uh, there's there's con- complexities heavier here. Heavier than you under- thought, and you were holding it in your hand. No, not heavier. It was like fuller. That's what I meant. I said heavier, but I used the wrong word. Which I never do, except in this situation. You, you never misjudge the, the level word. of the no, liquid. Never, yeah, never. You know, big well, words for a guy who can't even hear Phil. Hear Phil, and you were talking over him. This just is now. this, of course, is the is the piggy bank podcast where we uh, we come together and we talk about our, our weekend games. Uh, you know, a nice little casual game podcast, and we kind of play mini games on this show. We we give each other some ribbing. You know, kind of like you know, those play, playful stuff. You know, oh, you, oh, you clumsy little little man. <laughs> Oh, so Sub- playful. Pure, we have fun. The we have pure. fun. We do have fun. In fact, what has everyone been having fun with this week? Is you gaming Connor, wise? You're, you're not even going to acknowledge gonna, what the fuck just happened. Skip just over said? that. <laughs> 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 There's nothing to acknowledge. <laughs> did, did you hear me? No, no. <laughs> he was oh listing off things, no, and I added no need, support the Fuhrer. <laughs> no, no, need to, no need to repeat right. that. No. You know what? I think oh. my tactic of just ignoring it was probably better. Listen, all right. I agree. Disclaimer: Nobody hears a Nazi. <laughs> None of us here are white supremacists. Why is it always on my show? We think all <laughs> these people should uh, burn in hell. You know, Tavin, you went back on your joke just now. Yes. It's so called a disclaimer. No, it's, it's called not being a comedian. <sighs> Come on, man. That's, everyone knows you're joking, right? Right? No, not everyone knows I'm joking. Sometimes people come on the internet and don't know how or how satire works, Connor, and they take what I say, and they run with it. Well, that's not your fault. That's their fault. And in the day of AI, they can just make you say it, and that's Connor, that. the, the number of times people have called me a fucking moron on the internet, and it's numerous because of, mostly because of that one Spider-Man video that popped off last year. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. People were real mad at me about the, the Helldivers 2 going on Xbox take, too. People were real mad at me about that one. Uh, are you sure it's your takes, or are you sure it's because you you go in the comments section? You do a little tussle. Well, I gotta get gotta get the gotta get the interactions up. You know, you do. Gotta That's get true. The, gotta get the... it's, it, it cracks me up every time, and I'm not gonna linger on it uh, because you know we're we're doing a show here. Uh-huh. But it just cracks me up anytime anytime there's some kind of thing that Tavin posts to social media, whether it be on I don't I don't know if he's done it on his own personal account. Uh, but on his own personal account, on the Two Penny Games account, he always comes in with the other account that he runs, be oh, yeah. it the Two Penny Games account or <laughs> his own account. I don't so normally like, do well, it man, my own thing. This but guy's, I do do this it. guy's so right. Mm-hmm. I, I do do it on Two Penny Games. I drop a comment on there. You know, I he do it on the YouTube also. Own there's a lot of YouTube. There's a lot of YouTube videos with my personal account, and I just type in "This was a great video" or something like that. You know, you got to support the content, guys. So, listen, someone's got to do the greasy work to get it moving. The algorithms work a certain way. We all know how it works. And some of us have to do the little greasy work to, to get, to get things the, uh, moving. You're the, you're the laxative to, to move our content through the bowel of the internet. Hey, you know? The toe sucker. You know? Mm-hmm. What, where did that come from? <laughs> it's like... Uh, I don't know. Like you're, you're sleazy. You're uh, a muckraker, but not like in a good way. In a, like, uh, in, in, in this, you know what a muckraker is? 
Someone Anybody? who rakes muck. No, no, no. It's a name no, for a type of journalist. It's for journalist who gets in to, into the like like the factory farms back in the day. Yeah, they instilled themselves mm-hmm. into it. You're like that, but it's only the negative connotation the word brings to it, rather than the actual like good part of that. Hence, why I called you a toe sucker. So okay, real quick, as an aside, um, my little cousin when he was growing up, he had a little mater, you know, mater from cars, mm-hmm. and yeah, tow truck. Yeah. He had, he had a, a toy that, you know, it would talk, right? And uh, if you push something, it would ask, uh, wow, how many toes do you have? <laughs> Ten toes? I'm jealous. Oh, he's he's he only has, he only has one toe. He's truck. One he's toe, toe. One toe. Yeah. So. Comedy. Different meaning nowadays. Comedy. You know. Now Mater asking about your little cousin's feet would not be as, uh, be as wouldn't fly. No. No, it wouldn't. Well, anyway, that wasn't a side. Uh, hey, that shake that was hand. a little. It was a little aside, you know. Uh, and another side. I, I'm, I think, chapter ten on Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth now. So, how much is that compared to the actual end? Because there's, uh, there's fourteen. Fourteen. 14. Okay. Yeah. Fourteen. He's in there. He's yeah. in there. You know, get close to it. He's on. He's on his. I way. also, I also like from this angle. You can see Donkey Kong's little like eyes. I don't know if you can see He's it creeping. from like my one, but at least on my on, like my own camera that I'm looking on Discord, I can see him like peeking over the, the edge. <laughs> yeah, they can't see the uh, banana being shoved up his ass. There, he shows up there. There he, he does is not have a banana. Sh- okay, Conan, it's the second time you brought this up. He does not have a banana shoved up his ass. <laughs> he kind of looked, before reaching, you got to the very bottom. It looked like that was a possibility. He's reaching behind him to grab another banana from the barrel. Sure, sure. Well, he's right, he's not shoving now. a banana in his ass. No, he's not, but it looked like he could have been. Damn. All right, well, uh, boys, what have you been playing? I've been... You want to go? Do you wanna go? I'll go. Wanna go I'll go. I got a bunch I got a bunch that I can uh, list off here. So mostly, uh, I've been playing Helldivers 2 still. Still, you know, grinding away, uh, 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 carving the glorious path of freedom. Uh, that, that that we all you know spreading democracy in all of its in all of its roots. Uh, I have unlocked. I think I've done. What is it? It goes hard and then extreme. Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? I, I, uh, know. I no. You don't. I don't know. know. Oh, okay. Whatever the next level up from hard is, I've done that because I joined a random group and we just happened to be set to that. So now, like, I think the next one is called suicidal. Or something like that. So I have that unlocked. Haven't tried it yet, but you know, it's you know, we're working our way, working our way there. Oh shit, am I level twenty now? I think I'm level. No, there's no way. There's no way I'm level twenty now. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that continues to be a blast. And uh, started some Fable. About an hour in, I was about two hours in, but instead of saving, I hit reload by mm-hmm. accident. Oh so, no! Yeah, totally wasted. Totally wasted about forty-five minutes of progress. Was real happy about that. Turned the game right off and never mm-hmm. touched it again. Um, I mean, that game is really hard to play in this the the climate that we're in right now in terms of like games that are that are out. Oh yes, mm-hmm. yes, 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 indeed. Game is also, very hard to play right now. Controller must. I heard that was like it's a must. Very much well liked. No, I try. I tried on. I tried on mouse and keyboard, and instantly I was like, "This doesn't. This isn't right. This mm-hmm. th- this is clearly built for a controller." Because um, it is. Because it is, and that's a, just a goofy little game. More on that uh, this next Monday. Uh, by the time this comes out, not if you're listening live. And then finally, in most, oh, I've also been playing more Prince. Of, I've been playing a fuck ton of shit. More Prince Sorry, of Persia. Before um, you move on, I just wanted to say that as of this year, Fable is 20 years old. Look at that. Look at that. Good timing for us. Look at us. You know, uh, more Prince of Persia. That game continues to be impressive. Uh, it, ju- easily the coolest game of the year. I don't think anything will ever dethrone it from that. It's you haven't fucking, played Infinite Wealth yet, so I don't care. It, there's nothing Infinite Wealth can do that can top what this game does. It, it's so cool. Like it, it just oozes style and presentation in, in everything it does. It's just badass. Um, beat uh, uh, a pretty big boss, but it's going to be a returning boss. And and you know Connor heard me last night just just yelling because it was one of those boss fights that like. You know, you lose the first time because you're learning the fight, right? So you're going to lose, you know, and it's fine. I, I'm built for that. So you lose once or twice. On, like, my second or third attempt, I got him down to a sliver. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, not a problem. Got him. Ended up dying. I was like, fuck, that sucks. Whatever. It then took me, like, another seven or eight tries. And it's a fairly long fight. Um, 
and, and it just it got more and more frustrating for me just because it was like it was like this shouldn't be the it's not that hard it's really not that hard of a fight and and uh, I just got by the time I got to the end of it I was just like fuck man I'm tired <laughs> like that was that was more exhausting than it should have been but it, it just continues to be just a very creative game very cool game and and yeah it's it's just so dope I love it and then finally. Uh, a, a game that like doesn't have a review, probably won't have a review, and Phil, you can jump in here uh, with me on this. Uh, I've started Penny's Big Breakaway. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shadow uh, dropped this last week. Uh, 3D platformer from the guys behind Sonic Mania, and uh, I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It's 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 really charming. It's really cute. Yeah. It's 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 got good music. It's got good game feel and game design so far. Um, I'm just waiting for it to get a little more in depth, a little more um, challenging, challenging, but also just just a little more creative. Mm. Um, it's it's a little paint by numbers um, when you're talking 3D platformers, especially in the vein of like classic 3D platformers. It's very, in my opinion, it's very Spyro. It's very Crash Bandicoot. Um, and I would like a little more complexity in what we're doing, a little more um new age mario and new age sonic but you know I'm, me, I'm, I'm enjoying it to me it's it's more it, it's i would not compare it to to spyro um because it's a lot more like course clear um you're not it's not like a collectathon you know it's it's not it's not like like a spyro it's 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 your 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 course clearing doing some nice movement um and you know it's it's i i like i i like this game don't love this game sure yeah um, and i'm well, i I'm, like the way that the movement really feels yeah, uh like movement feels good uh, fast and um frenetic in in a way you know it's it's very all over the place in, in like how you can move and um i don't i think it's interesting the um the uh I don't even know how to explain it, but like the penguin guards that like are tackling you, and if five of them, yeah, are on so you, the, then you're like caught or whatever. Yeah, so the combat's really basic. Uh, Penny uses a yo-yo as like a weapon, and so she can like spin it around herself, um, or just fling it out and fling forward, or use it as a swing. She can do a whole bunch of movement-based stuff with it, and it, it's it feels good. and And that's probably the reason I'm comparing it most to Spyro is because it kind of it elicits that feel, that game feel of Spyro to me. Um, like I think moving around as Penny and moving around as Spyro feels somewhat similar. You're doing different things, of course. Like, you know, there's a lot of flight and stuff with Spyro where Penny's more of like swinging and acrobatics. Um, but it, just kind of the way they feel, they move throughout the world feels similar to me. And the way like you pick up coins and, and things is kind of that way. So the way the combat basically breaks down is there are little penguins that are chasing after you. They they are the guards of the evil king who you've pissed off or whatever. Um, and basically, like, they're just chasing you and basically just dogpiling on you. And when, like, five of them dogpile you, you get sent back to the last checkpoint. Um and the way to get them off of you is to do cool moves. So if you, like, tap square once, she sends the yo-yo out. If you tap it a second time, she, like, flings herself to the to where the yo-yo is. Um, that will fling guys off. Or if you spin the yo-yo a bunch, it'll fling guys off. Or if you do a swing move or a double jump, it'll fling guys off. So you're as you're being, like, dragged down, you're just, like, using your moves to break free and break away. Hence the name. Um, it's cool, um, it does kind of just turn into how many penguins can we throw at you at once? Um, yeah, which is fine. It, I mean, it, it's doing what it needs to do in the genre that it's in. Um, I think it's level designs pretty good so far. And that's where I'm really waiting for it to, if we're not going to get deeper mechanically, which I don't think we need to, um, then I want it us to get more complex in level design. Um, because as of right now, it's pretty basic, pretty standard level design where, where like, you know, it's like, oh, we're going to do these jumps and stuff. Um, but I am seeing the groundwork being laid. I think I just cleared 1-5, one 1-4 one or 1-5 last night. So I'm still in the first world. Um, and uh, I, I, I see the groundwork being laid for, oh, this game could actually 
if they wanted to ratchet up the difficulty. Um, because there were a couple of jumps and, and, and things that I was like, oh, that is actually, that's not a jump that would be easy for a child to make. So. I had never heard of this game. Oh, I'd heard of it, but I'd never seen it. Now I have. It was in one of the directs, but maybe you didn't pay attention to that one, yeah. you know, or whatever. But yeah, uh, it, it's fun. It's charming. I would not recommend it to you. That might have um, been that might have been when it first like debuted. It might have been just a me and you direct. I even want to say it was a state of play or something, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's it, on it, PS5. It is on PS5. That's what I'm playing on. Um, but yeah, I'm, playing on. I, I'm enjoying it. It, 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 bad time for it to come out, <laughs> you know, right after Hell Divers. Granted, we didn't know Hell Divers was going to be Hell Divers, but then you also just look at the climate right now Prince of Persia, uh, uh, Like a Dragon, um, Final Fantasy VII is right around the corner, Hell Divers 2, um, Persona Suicide 3 Squad, Persona 3, uh, that one S game Square Enix S put out that nobody seems to care about, Foam Stars, that one. Yeah. Um, so it's just, it's a busy season. You probably should have waited a month or two because it looks like the drop-off from game release is about to be pretty drastic. Well, coulda, shoulda, woulda. I mean, we say that, but the end of March has three big games all in one day. So, yeah. you know, there's that. May, May. Um, May, April, May. I'll say, me and you were kind of chatting out about it a little bit, Tavin. Um, the, I think Push Square gave it a 7 out of 10, right? Um, put, push Square put out, yeah, because I, I have it, uh, drafted in my fantasy critic mm -hmm. and uh, it currently does not have an open critic rating I think that's because one it got shadow dropped and it's a smaller game so people aren't rushing to get to it so I've only right. seen push square uh, put up a review today um, as of as of the day of recording and they gave it a seven and I was like and then like I just read the quick pros and cons I didn't read the full review but I read their, their quick pros and cons and pretty much everything they said I was like that that looks about right. That that looks about what I was expecting for this game. So, um, I'd be shocked if it got like sixes or fives. Um, I'm expecting sevens and eights out of this one. So, you know, again, um, good not great. So, I'm expecting this game on Open Critic at least to land mid seventies somewhere. I would expect seven six, but it could it could be seven there four is seven seven. There are currently um, even though there is no like Open Critic like full page for it yet, like with a score and everything. Um, Fantasy Critic has given it a 73 currently. Really? That is different yeah. than what I saw literally like four hours ago. Yeah, I just refreshed it and it's right now you have three points for it and I have encounter picked it and I have lost two points. Good trade off so far. Why have you only lost two? It's probably like a, it's probably one of those where it's, it's not quite a 73. It's like a 72 point whatever. Gotcha. And so like the rounding in that is, is being weird. Yeah, well, I did see on Metacritic, it was still fairly low. Oh, yep, the Open Critic page is up at a 73. GameSpot, oh, Push Square really? uh, are the only major sites that have reviewed it so far. Both of them oh, yeah. giving it a 7. And then I'm seeing 3.5 out of 5. I'm seeing 80. I'm seeing 8.5. Yeah, these are all the numbers I was expecting. 8.5 eight, is a little high, probably. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I saw on the Metacritic a few days ago, it, it didn't have a score yet on Metacritic, but it had a user score of like 8.3. And that's, I was like, yeah, that's, you know, that's probably, that's pro I, I'd prob like right now I'd be sitting at a seven personally. Um, if it does increase its complexity, uh, it could very easily be an eight. Again, the game is charming. The music's good. Um, I like the sound design. Uh, of of like how you jump and swing and move and the sound of the yo yo swinging the yo they use you don't control the camera it's it's fixed and it just kind of follows you where you need to go um, you use the right stick to spin the the yo yo around and yeah uh, which is cute the hopping in for the first time like that threw me off because I was trying jarring. to move the camera it's <laughs> jarring it at first when I first put my hands uh, my my thumbs on sticks I did go uh oh <laughs> uh, I was like oh no <laughs> uh, but. When you get used to it, it, it you start going like, oh, this is actually pretty cute. Um, they they have a fun thing where there's like little small little side things you can do throughout the level. Um, little like side quests, if you will. Like uh, someone will be like, oh, I dropped my letter. Can you find my letter? And you go and you find the letter and you bring it back to them or whatever. It's, you know, just like little yeah. small things you can do throughout the level. 
Someone and save then, my flowers. Yeah, like literally mm-hmm. that. And then you get to the end of the level and there's a big like celebration spire that you have to jump on. And uh, everybody who, you, who you've who you helped throughout the level shows up to cheer you on to get on top mm-hmm. of the, the spire. Yeah. And the spire's like, like um, I think like a, like a layered wedding cake. You know, like a layered cake, yeah. Yeah, so it's and and depending on what layer you jump and land on, you get like bonus points at the end of the and end of the level. Um and then you get to do like a little dance by using the right stick and using different formations, or sometimes they'll throw a button phone uh, uh face button presses in there. So it'll be like square, quarter circle, up, down, full circle, things like that. It's cute. Do little yo-yo tricks and stuff, yeah. Yeah, to do little yo-yo tricks and celebration things. It's very like like it, it is a what i would call a 2024 take on uh a end screen for like crash bandicoot you know when crash would like get hit by the different boxes and so forth this is kind of in that sure. vein to me where like you know you clear a course and then you do your tricks and you get your bonus points the 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 better you do in the course the more tricks you're able to do the higher rating you get to get etc 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 so it really reminds me of uh jack and daxter when you get a power cell and they do a little break dance but you're actually controlling it Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I I could see that too. A very like when Mario collects a star type thing, yeah. but but you're doing the inputs for it. Hmm. You know, I know you haven't gotten that far in the game yet overall, but you basically just did a review for all intents and purposes. That's why we're talking about it right now. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. so why don't you call we're it not gonna, review? We're not going to release a we're not going to release a, an official <laughs> review. Say, like I've played for I've played for two hours. Ah, Connor. Just say yeah, it. Like, I just say we it. have not played nearly enough to like give our full thoughts and everything. You know, yeah. we, we're really just the, this is really just impressions. These are my yeah. impressions. If you're looking for if you like 3D platformers, this is a game for you. If you have kids, this is a great game for them. Um, Very baby game, yeah. <laughs> I, I would give it a little bit more credit than that. Like this is I this know. is I just, this is this is more than anything I saw in Disney Illusion Island, in terms of like age age groups. Like I didn't play that one, so Illusion I, Islands I really is like for five year olds. This is for I don't know eight, nine, ten. That's fair. You know, a kid who who can handle it a little bit more. Tough, sure. tough kids. T- tough kid. <laughs> hey kid, sure. you want to play some Penny's Big Breakaway? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun, I swear. I give it a seven out of ten. Spin the yo-yo. Spin the yo-yo. Mm-hmm. The yo-yo is like a little dog. It, it like bites people. I want to be a I yo-yo like... man, he cried. Teach me uh, to be a yo-yo man. I will but say, the, uh, did not answer. the characters don't yo-yoing. speak English. They speak like a gibberish and there's text. It's, it's, the, it's so annoying. The voices are the most grating, annoying things ever. I was thinking about skipping cutscenes because I was like, oh, oh my God, I don't want to hear this. It's it's not like it's not so much like um, the Animal Crossing like high pitched babbling. It's like so, someone d- t- took the recording for Animal Crossing babbling and then didn't speed it up. Oh God, yeah, nah, yeah. I, I like, did. No, I did no, not. No, 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 no. I do not like how the characters <laughs> sound in the game. They're they're quite annoying. But I'm gonna play more for sure. Um, yeah. No, no, will I, will I beat cool. it? I don't know. Maybe. It probably will. It's probably short. I'll take a look at the trophy list and, you know, maybe I'll platinum it, you know. We'll you see. Know, you never know. How's that, uh... <laughs> how's that, uh... I fucking sack- knew you were gonna get into this. How's that Sackboy Big Adventure Platinum going for you, Philly? You don't have yours either, so shut the fuck up. I don't. Down. I don't. I'll tell you what, Phil. The, uh, the Trials, uh, one is gonna be the hardest trophy to get in that game for sure. No, that's, that's, that's definitively... Even PSN Profile says that it's the hardest trophy. Yeah. It, so. it, it's just the last one where you... Uh, there's a set of, like, trial courses. It, this is where the game gets, like, in its platforming bag. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're fairly, like, beatable throughout all of them some of them are a little harder than others or whatever and they'll, they'll definitely challenge you more than the actual game levels will challenge you um but the final challenge and you have to beat them all uh the final challenge is you run through a gauntlet of all of them with all of with them yeah. no checkpoints back to back to back to back and i spent a long time trying to do it and i couldn't do it i was getting progressively further um and even kind of close but you know it's like you, you get into that mode where like the first third of the trek, you're like, I know this by muscle memory. And it's just like going through the motions. And that's so irritating when it takes three minutes to do that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, so yeah, it, it, it was one where I was like, it, it was one that gave me pause. And I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. <laughs> ah, you'll be able to do it. You're the platinum was, gamer. Both you guys are. I was, I was struggling for a minute to remember what it was called. They're the knitted night trials is what it is. Is what it is. Yeah, I just, I, yeah, I had it. I just, there was no point in 
naming it or whatever. But yeah. Um, and then the rest, I it's thought... like, it's like grab a co-op partner and slap them in the face or take a picture yeah. with them or, you know, it's a bunch of like complete a couple levels with them and stuff. And I'm like, that's easy. I'll, you know, I think I've gotten, I think I've gotten all the co-op trophies because me and Ash were playing. <sighs> You've gotten a so. number of them because I was looking the last time I played, which was a while ago. You already um, said a long time for me too yeah i mean it was it's just been a while since i've touched it uh i think you still had some to do it would like some of the like I, it may have been like some of the like like get a higher score on leaderboards or something like like there, there's like a number you have to hit and i don't know mm. if you hit that number yet but i could be wrong okay um no whenever you started talking about like oh how's that whatever i thought you were gonna get into fucking final fantasy 7 fucking hogwarts legacy because you were talking mad trash on all this, all this shit, you're like, oh, you know, Phil, Phil you're not gonna get that platinum. You're not. You're yeah, not. I, 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 yeah, I hit him, and I said, you're not getting this Final Fantasy VII platinum. Are you taking that as a challenge, Phil? He's not doing. No, it. I'm not taking a challenge because I'm going to do it. He's not so gonna. It's do not it. a challenge. There's I'm going no to do it. You have to put in just as much work post game as you do playing the game. Like, so, it's so much, and it's so, yeah, and it's way me, less fun because it's not, you know, uh, tied with a fun story or characters. It's just you just sitting in a swamp grinding out enemies for three, four hours. So I'm going to read the transcript of, of these DMs that, that were exchanged between <laughs> oh, me and Kevin here. It's a, a, a dramatic reading by Phil Shoemaker. <clears throat> You're not getting that Fa Final Fantasy VII plat. Why? Because you won't. I know these things. I do know these things. Frowny, this frowny face. Soul. You don't know shit. How's that Hogwarts legacy going? Bro. Teardrop face. Got yeah. your ass. You know? And I and I, I said, I hate you. And I and with music notes, I said, if I only had time. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, that, that yeah. I, I love that. This has been a dramatic reading of Discord. It's also DMs. just not worth Still your time. time getting the Final Fantasy VII Platinum. <laughs> like, just don't do it. It's not it's a bad one. I don't like it. I didn't I didn't like doing it. I didn't like getting it. I like Tavin, you're just I trying to the, keep me down. I think right? the Metal Gear Solid 1 Platinum is m w worth your time more than FF7. And then that one is you're like... trying to keep me down. That one's frustrating, too. <laughs> like, you know? So, anyways. I'll tell you what's what's really frustrating is, is the fact that I'm getting all these trophies for infinite wealth, and I, like, very much doubt that I'm ever going to Platinum this game. That's how I feel about uh, Persona 3 right now. Because uh, I've got... planning on that? Huh? You planning on that? No. No. I've got 27 out of 65, including the Platinum Trophy. And uh, yeah, a lot of them are, are fucking ridiculous. God damn it, Tavin. Stop pressing the wrong fucking button. Uh, but anyway, I kind of just want to hop into uh, to our mini games, and uh, I, I would like to start us off, if that's okay with you boys. Hey, hey, hey. Of course. Hey, what's the problem with that? Huh? Um, what? So, what's the problem with that? Nothing. Nothing. What's up with that? Uh, if I could direct you boys' attention to the show doc for this mini game, oh, uh, because we're playing. I told you what I was playing last night, Tad. I know, and I forgot. Hold on, I got it. I got it. I got it. Ah, so that's you see, you could tell that because Tavin didn't immediately answer with, "Why didn't you tell me before the show started?" I know. I was supposed. I, I, I was supposed. Um, but no, to we're, know, we're playing. Like, we're playing uh, our favorite uh, guess. Guess the the logo of uh, of a faction mm. for a mini game, otherwise known as Gang Gang. That's gang, gang. It's been a while, huh? Been a while. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Well, you know, uh, as I as I said, uh, I'm going to put up a logo from a faction of a video game, a group of people, if you will, or some might even say a gang. And uh, you know, and you got to you got to try to tell me. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do if you can tell me what game it's from, I'll give you a point and then I'll give you an additional point if you can give me the exact name of the of the of the crew i'm with it i'm here i will um, I'm at it. Try so and win. i'll try and win i'll try and let win. me see you can also sorry i just realized i just realized that for two of these i don't know the official title of the of the crew this fucking, so, guy. This fucking guy no so i have i have the logos i did the hard work the voice of a man panicking right there no ah, ah, ah. scared huh Pressure, 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 pressure. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you see, give me a Fallout 3 rattlesnakes, you know? No, rattlesnakes. Rattles, the, the tunnel, the tunnel snakes, snakes. snakes. 
Damn. And they man. rule. <laughs> they do rule. Total snakes rule. Pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did that one the last time I did. You I did. did it, and I don't think either of y'all got that one. No, nope. I got it. I got the tunnel snakes. I don't know. No, I don't know what you're talking about either. Look back the tape. What tape? Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. It's on an episode. Found. Why are you defending me? You I thought I was defending myself. What? Didn't? But you weren't a participant in that game. You weren't. I'm confused. Are we doing this? Yeah. Tevin, it's all about the system. You understand the system. Of a down? Do you? Do you understand them? You Name the, the uh, that's, that's first funny. ten lines of Chop Suey right now. Go. Chop Suey, Chop Suey, Chop Suey. No, <laughs> you no, liar. No, 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 no. It's wake up. Why don't you put on a little makeup? Oh, oh God, he's doing song. it. Okay, okay. Oh, stop right there. Otherwise, you'll uh, you'll win the yeah, challenge. You know. Just looking at all a right. fucking fall So, boys, we're just going to hop right in. You ready? There we go. Ready. As soon as my are we uh, are we locking in? Are we sorry. buzzing? Is it like a turn? It's gonna, it's oh, be I mean, it's gonna be buzz. In, right? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess we're on the same. We're but I mean, yeah. We're you see it when I <laughs> look at you again. It didn't spill, but I'm you not still the I'm not used to the little thing. I'm nah, not, it, it didn't, didn't spill because it. it's pretty much empty. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and hop right in as soon as Tavin's done with that swig. Mm -hmm. In three, two, one. Buzz. Fuck. That's C Connor. Go ahead. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, you just pulled the trigger. You had nothing uh, to get in the game. I thought, I thought it was God of War, but I don't think it is. I'll pass. All right. Well, if you can tell me the game, I'll give you a point. And if you can tell me the damn. name of the organization, I will give you an extra point. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. For audio <sighs> listeners, it's a tree with two wolves. It's a golden tree with two wolves. <laughs> I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna you buzz. saying two wolves reminded me reminded me of the the t shirt. Cause you know, there's that saying. There's like, there's two wolves in all of us, and there's a shirt that <laughs> oh, I saw geez. online that says, there, "There's two wolves inside of me, and they won't stop fucking." <laughs> 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 it's just a wolf do. mounted on top of another wolf. Um, uh, I'm go gonna shoot in the dark, and I'm gonna say Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That is incorrect. All right, I, I got another guess. Is go it? Ahead. This can't be right. Is it the Golden Path from Far Cry Four? Incorrect. No, mm. that's not right. That, that was a Nepal, right? Yeah, Tibet. Yeah, some. Can't remember right. if there I'm were gonna wolves. Go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and roll out a hint for you guys. Okay. Mm. Um, this is from a first-person shooter. Well, well, that certainly doesn't help. Um. Uh, indeed. Huh. Huh. Stop making villager noises. This is <laughs> this is gonna be wrong too. I'm gonna buzz and I'm gonna say Wolfenstein two. You know there are wolves wolves in it, but yeah. it's not Wolfenstein. Yeah. Gonna um, so. I'm gonna buzz and Go I'm going to say I know I feel like it's one of the Call of Duties, like some I fucking don't think so. obscure faction. I'm gonna go with the um, like the new modern warfare. It is not Call of Duty. Mm, okay. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Damn, two <clears throat> wolves in a tree. Right, I'm gonna roll out another hint. Uh huh. It takes place in the future. It's a sci-fi game. Buzz. Go ahead. Cyberpunk 2077. Incorrect. No. Damn. No, damn. First person shooter, sci-fi. Oh, okay. Is it Destiny 2? Oh, fuck. It is it. Destiny. Oh, I know the name. <laughs> can you tell me can you tell me the name of the organization? Uh... If he doesn't get it, can I steal? I'll give you I'll give you a little tip of the hat, but since you didn't get the main answer, you, you I know you the fucking like I know point. it. <laughs> See, I fucking like I know it in my brain. It just it's been so long since I played that goddamn game. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say the the world breakers. I don't know. No, uh, Tavin, tell me answer. I really hope that I'm not embarrassing myself. This is this is the Ashen Wolves, no? Uh, no, this is the Iron Bar Banner. Is it really the Iron, Iron Banner? Banner. Oh, okay. That's, that's what I was thinking of, but I couldn't. The Ashen remember. Wolves is from Fire Emblem Three Houses. <laughs> no, there's a wolf. There's like a wolf something in <laughs> Destiny Two. Maybe, but it's not that. All right. The Ashen Wolves is from Fire, Fire Emblem Three Houses. It is, but like it's a different thing, also. Listen, well, there's only yeah. so many English words, and only so many of them sound cool together. So you know you're gonna you're gonna get some repeats. Says you. 
All right. Well, Connor, you have one point. Tavin, you have zero. I'll take it. Fuck it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Incomplete. Round I'll take it. number two. Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Fuck. Oh, I should know this. Buzz. Oh, it's go ahead, Connor. Is it World of Warcraft: The Horde? That is a point and a bonus point for you uh, there, Connor. This okay. is the Horde from had, World of Warcraft. That one. The Horde. Okay. All right. All right. That is three strong points start. to Tavin's strong zero. Start. Very, very strong showing from Mr. Connor Elliott yeah, here. Yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. All right, Tavin. Uh-huh. Here we go. Ready for round number three? I hope so. Saying you specifically. Buzz. Buzz. That's a Tavin right there. Is it really? That's crazy. Yeah, okay. I'll give it. Well, I heard, I heard Tavin. It was very like under, under, under like sold, but I've I heard your yours came through. I broke through. through. That's that's all that's important. Uh, that's this is uh, this is XCOM two. It is it, it is it is, it, it is X, it's from it's, XCOM. It's just XCOM. Can you tell me the name? Can you tell me the name of the organization? Uh, that's where it gets tricky, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, could be. Could be anything. Could be X Force. Could be Earth Defense Force. Could be. Uh... Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue too. No, I've got nothing. I have no idea what you're fucking called in that game. Okay, it's the fucking Commander. That's all I know is they call me Commander. Yeah, they call you Commander. Oh, I just lost it. I at least had a guess. I'm just gonna say X Force. <laughs> God, Davin, you're so close. Oh, it's X something, Connor. <laughs> It's literally just called XCOM. <laughs> no way. Is it really called yes. XCOM? Oh, they suck. Yes. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I, mean, I guess. So, yeah. Tavin, that, I, I, the reason I was pointing at you is because I was hoping you would get at least two points there so you could be no. close to, to Connor. No. But no. it no, is no, now one to three. Listen, I played hundreds of hours of <laughs> XCOM. <laughs> couldn't, right. couldn't, couldn't have told you that. Well, we'll <laughs> see. We'll see, if, uh, we'll see if, you, if, you can, if you can get this next one. God, what a great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. So good. I played that on my phone. Oh, God, you suck. You're so <laughs> trash. Played XCOM 2 on the console. Also not the proper place to play it, but, you know, it's fine. Yeah, right. Yeah. You had to wait a long so time sorry. in between Hang turns. On. I wouldn't have been... Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't have been able to play that. Yeah, you, 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 had, you had to wait a long turn. But in between turns... All right. A long, Ready? Lo- a lot of loading. Round number four. Fun, though. Here we go. Buzz. Go ahead, Tavin. Fuck, I'm wrong. Uh, Hell Divers. Incorrect. Yeah, I'm wrong. Buzz. Uh, Go ahead, Connor. Is it Gears of War, the Cog? That is both points correct. Are you serious? There we go, baby. Yeah. Look at it. It is the Cog from Gears of War. Where's the Cog with the skull? That's different. That's the death symbol. That's when you're dying, and it's like it's you're dying. It's getting full on the screen. Is that not also their their faction logo? Really? No, this, this is, is the official logo. This for is the, lame. For <laughs> Connor, lame. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what. Uh, if you can tell me what COG stands for, I'll give you an extra point. Because it's, it's COG. It's, it's, a, it's an acronym. Coalition of... Yeah? Coalition uh-huh. of Gears? No. Damn. How crazy would that have been? And consolidation dude, when you said of... when you said coalition, I was fucking. I was like, oh my god, does he know it? <laughs> it's the it's Dang the it stands for the coalition of ordered governments. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> you said coalition <laughs> of, and I was like, coalition of guys, just a bunch of guys, you know, just hanging <laughs> just out, guys killing being aliens. dudes, just, just guys, being, just guys dudes. being dudes. If they were cool, they would have done that because that game yeah, has right. a lot of testosterone. Yeah, it does. All right, well, Tavin, you can't win. Give me a machine gun slash chainsaw and hell divers, you know? That would be Change the subject. Give me give me a give me a gears like fucking crossover, you know? You know, it, it, give me all the crossovers, bro. I yeah. want a light I want a, a lightsaber equivalent in hell divers. Just give me a Dude, laser saw, sword. Let me cut through some bugs. They need melee. melee. I saw on Twitter the Illuminator some, coming, guys. Some They're guy coming. on on Twitter uh made a uh like a special like crossover halo like armor set that was yeah. like there was one for mass like a spartan there was one for uh or odst and there was one for the arbiter or like just for the elites it was fucking awesome they they all looked really cool i'm into it i'm into um, it all right now for the fifth and final round are we ready 
Yeah. Ready as ever. Here we go. I have no idea. Dude. I, I, uh, There's a, okay. a silver coin on, on, on screen for Buzz. the audio listeners. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Like a dragon. Tavin? Infinite. I mean, I'll... I'll no, no, I mean, no, I'll, no, no, I'll, no, 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 no. I, I don't think I can give it to you. No, it's not. You can't. You can't. You can't. Yakuza I don't think like I can give it to you. Buzz Yakuza like a dragon. What the fuck do you want? I mean, you're... Buzz you're, Yakuza. You're, Yakuza no, Zero. it's too late. I'll no, say them all. too late. I'll say them all. You no, know what? Uh, Yakuza you, you Kiwami. the first answer, so go ahead, Connor. With what's what's your guess? I'll say he should have buzzed. He didn't buzz. It's my turn next after you buzz. I'm gonna slap you. You silly. failed. Hey, you failed. Now it's my turn. It's the you, same you did, franchise. You did it's not Yakuza. It it's, is though. It's I mean, not, it's no. it may be the same franchise, but it's not from. It, this is not from like a dragon. Like a dragon's the it's, new branding and all. It's the new one. It they changed it all. It's not type the of new game. one. The new one's not called Yakuza. It's called Like a Dragon. Yeah. So, but it's you, the when same you say franchise. Just like, when you say just Like a Dragon, it makes me think that you're talking about Infinite Wealth, and this is not a thing in Infinite Wealth. Is it a thing? Is it a thing in the Man Who Erased His Name? I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. But is this what you he's drawing it? from? I did not play the Man Who Erased His Name. Didn't you? He he did on his fantasy no. critic, but he never actually played it. No, he was talking about how the voice acting was the was kind of mid. The Everyone knew that acting. from just like Twitter. Like no, I said the, the, no. I was saying the voice acting was made for for Kitty you throughout Twitter. Yeah, yeah. And I, I watched like a like like a uh, story recap for in, in, for uh, man who erased his name. You know what, Tav? I've won. I'll give it to Whatever. Tavin. Tavin. What's the name? What's the name of this yeah, organization? That's the what's important the name part of this, of this game of, the, of this I clan. Know. I, I don't know, know. Yakuza. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say the Dojima family. It is not. Damn. It is, fucking... it is the crest. This is the crest of the Tojo clan. Tojo. Yeah, Tojo. Like Tojo. Which is a which is Tojo the, and the Earl. umbrella the umbrella that uh that, that covers the Dojima family are in the Tojo clan. But mm -hmm. yeah. everything. So well all right. Well, final final score. Uh Connor five to Tabins two. Yeah, congratulations. Let it be known that one of those points was only given because of me. It's a pity point. Pity point. Hey, you blew me out of the water with the naming game. This is where I win. There's got to be a trade-off. This is how I win. This is how I win, by guessing correctly. Not guessing, drawing on my infinite wellspring of knowledge to know this exactly look, what the answer is. This doesn't look good, does it? I don't like no, it doesn't. Looks at all. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to find something else out here. Anyways, I like it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. Can scoot over a little bit? Okay, I can't really do that. Connor, I want to know what you have for us this week. <laughs> what do I have? <laughs> what do I have? Oh, crabs here is what i have so crabs no nah, don't be crabs. Crabs. gonorrhea do you have any of those never mind uh one of my favorite games game series game genres so to speak are the souls born the souls like the from software mm -hmm. games you do be fans of these things yes yeah. Not Armored Core, as good as it is. It's not a FromSoft game. It, it's not a well, Souls like it is like a game. game. It is a FromSoft game. But I have in my mind, I've always had in my mind my game. a ranking of what the mm -hmm. best Souls oh, games are. Shit. Do you have 10 of Oh, Souls Seven. game in this is general. A per okay. Seven. This is a, so, pers a personalized hit 10? It's, it's a little bit different. So there are seven games. Each of them have a point associated with them. One through seven. And you guys, on the fly, on your notes app, on your PC, on your, uh, your phone or whatever, oh, are going shit. to make your own list. And for each position that you match oh, with my position no. of the game, you get a point. Oh, fuck. Points are tallied up at the oh, end. fuck. And that's the way the game is going to be played. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hold on. There hold are seven on. titles. Oh, I'll tell them to you. This isn't a game of guessing which ones I'm including here. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you the specific version. Spoiler. It's the most updated version of each game. Um, not in order, not in order, or maybe Heard. it is. Uh, the games are that compromise this list. I'm spreading this out so they have Surprise. time to I'm write. Sorry, these are from software games only. Souls like games from yeah. software games, like Souls games, okay. Souls Souls Born, Souls games. Born. If you yeah. want to be specific, or whatever. but yeah. are all of these from soft games? They're all from yes, soft. they are. Okay. I'm going to list them off now. <laughs> the games that will be included in this are Bloodborne. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Demon Souls, and Elden Ring. 
Hmm. Did I say Bloodborne? You did you say did. Bloodborne. That was the you said. Okay. That was good. And you know, I like all of these games I'm to ready. different degrees. Oh, damn. You're just like... Beep, 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 beep. We've had many a conversation about this. Comment, yeah, so. that's why I'm curious as to what you're... One and two are super easy. One, One and two, two are super easy. Super easy. Um, Those are the highest points, so you would Unless you've are. done some fuckery and switched to them, but mm-hmm. like the, the it's still going to be one and two or easily one and two. Like mm-hmm. There's no changing what those one and two are. It's Fair just, enough. It's just the order of those individual two. From remember, there... To get the point, you have to be on the point, on the position of the list. Okay. Uh, and then how are we doing this? Are we getting one shot at this or... Uh, yeah, you're getting one shot. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it, oh, actually. This, this could potentially okay. be tied. But each of you, Tavin, since you finished first, you'll I think, list I them think, off. I think, I think uh, I'll list them. Phil will list them. That's what I was You keep do, yeah. track of how many we each individually have right. If we tie, we get a second shot. But Good you idea. tell us how many, how many we have correct. Okay. Don't tell me, yeah. like, don't, don't tell, tell us don't what say is the list. correct. Don't no. say the list. Just no. Be like, how many we each have. That's what I was going to do. So, But that tiebreaker is a good element. I'll wait. Wait until there's a definitive winner. Phil, take your time. This is no rush. This is not a rush. The game will be over I'm I'm formulating. I'm formulating. Hey, you got to formulate. But to narrow it down a little bit, I'll just mention the versions of the games. Demon's Souls, obviously the remake. I never played the original. It's basically, uh, what's the word? Irrelevant now because of the remake. Uh, Dark Souls Remastered, so it's not the uh, the bad frame rate issues. That was basically the only issue. I don't, technically, the game I don't had. know if I don't know if these did different iterations changed your ranking. They don't. I was going to say yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just to let you know. <laughs> um, for Dark Souls Two, uh, Scholar of the First Sin, which changed the ending and added, I think, a different kind of boss at the end, a different element to it. Uh, the ending was not good either way. So it didn't really change that much substantially. It also had all the DLC, which is good. And right, other than I have that, I have created a list. You have created a list. Now, well, before, I, I just I'm, you know, I'm just gonna keep it to myself until until we until we go off. Are you, Phil? Are you ready? I am ready. Uh, just so you know, I I there, you'll see two things arranged, but I ha, I I just needed a like a word bank, if you will, from mm-hmm. what Connor was saying. So I I took all of the all the original games at the top, and then I arranged my list. On like the category below. Got it. Okay. Nice. So I I have starting from where? Starting from number one. Okay. I've I've got Elden Ring. Number two, Bloodborne. Number three, Dark Souls three. Number four, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Number five, Dark Souls one. Number six, Dark Souls two. Number seven, Demon Souls. All right. And then my list. Wait one second. Uh, number six was what? Dark Souls two. Okay. Number seven was Demon Souls. All right, that's Tavin's list, right. Phil. My list. So are we going to go for number one? Yes, number one to All right. number seven. All right, so I'm going to say Bloodborne. I'm going to say Elden Ring. Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. Dark Souls Three at number four. Number five is Dark Souls. Number six, Demon Souls, and number seven, Dark Souls Two. I think I, I think I got it. I think I'm closer at least. Uh, I realized I missed the five on my my numbering of the list. Don't make fun of me, I'm, please. I, I count. I good. mean, why are you typing alongside it? Like, why don't you just like just count like as things are correct? You know what I'm saying? Uh, because I would definitely forget something. Okay. <laughs> hey, you want honesty? I give you honesty. Uh, so starting again, just to make sure, from number five, Phil. Uh, number five, I have Dark Souls. Number six, I have Demon Souls, and number seven, I have Dark Souls two. Okay, well, the points are being tallied up. The points are being tallied up. Uh huh. The points are being tallied up. This guy, this fucking guy. The points are being. You think it'd be his first time hosting up. a mini Calculating. game? Calculating. I know. Calculating. Calculating. You know what? I don't even need to do the points. Tavin won sound. <laughs> he won. It was almost like ridiculous how accurate he how was. Wrong, how did I just like did I just screw two up? Is it like did I just need to flip two? Somewhat. Which two? Is it Dark Souls two? Did the you put Dark Souls two higher than you should have? Number seven spot. Uh huh. Go from down. Really? That we all know. Okay. Seven. Number seven is Demon Souls. Uh huh. It is my least favorite. So too ten. linear. You don't what? like it. You don't like how linear it is. I did not. I thought know. you hated. I thought you hated Dark Souls two more. So. 
No, uh, he's a Dark Souls 2 apologize. Apologist. Number the number six spot is the first Dark Souls. Yep. Point. <laughs> which yep. was why I was as surprised as I was. The fifth spot was Dark Souls 2. Yep. I am a defender. Which, funny enough, I, I mainly got the inspiration for this list because Miyazaki came out and said that that was actually one of the most important Souls games because it set the pace for what they were going to do later. A lot yeah, of the talk terms of game design. I, I mean, I would agree with that in that, like, you learn from failures. Yeah. So Dark Souls 2, I don't know if you would consider it a failure, but you would consider it a, like, a point of critique and they go oh okay this is how how we perfect the formula yeah yeah that's exactly how it goes uh number four once again was Sekiro Shadows Die Twice I only missed Dark Souls 1 and 2 that's it I you knew did. it three Dark Souls 3 uh -huh. two Bloodborne yep. one Elden Ring it took me a, a good wow. guess with the first one Phil because it, it was a battle for a while it was only like fairly recently where I was like you know what there's more of a ability to make different builds and change up each playthrough in Elden Ring than Bloodborne, which biggest pitfall is that every single character you kind of make tends up to be kind of one note. But oh, that's crazy. I didn't get a single one right. Well, hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I I mean, y'all y'all live together and y'all have known each other far longer than I've known you guys, so... Oh, well, the second part makes sense. The first part, I don't need, I've never, like, ranked with Tav. I can't remember the last time we've talked about... I, I think my knowledge of your ranking of these games is based off of us doing podcasts. Yeah. So... Because I've mentioned before the Dark Souls Yeah, too. and then you reviewed Demon Souls, and I do remember from your review you being like, yeah, it's the lesser of all of them or whatever from the review. I didn't know if your opinion had changed because I don't know if we've ever talked about it since then. No, it's been... But we've done some piggy banks or whatever in the past mm -hmm. where we've talked about FromSoft games and, and, and rankings and so far. And, and then, of course, you know, just FromSoft can't, comes up in conversations, you know, whenever we debate about um, their, their format of storytelling or... Um, you know, whenever Elden Ring came up in conversation and so on and so forth, you know, the, the GQ 100 games of all time from Soft had multiple entries on that list and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, y'all yeah. also did this for like a full year before y'all let me play. So, yeah, that's true. Before we let you play, like you were in the cage, you're like, okay, well, you can come out. Mom now. said it's my turn. <laughs> Fine, Tavin. Can we make him join? Is it his turn? Now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> own the title of mom there. <laughs> Wait, you what? can call me mommy. No, I said Connor just owned the title of mom because uh, I said mom said it's my turn, and then he goes, "Tavin, oh, I see what's happening. Play. I see, I see, I see." Walked right in. So Tavin's dad. Hilarious. I just think I'm happy you didn't capitalize. I think on that. I'm a little baby. I understand your point about the different builds and and how freeing that can be, and I do agree that Elden Ring is probably the one where you can do the most freedom in that sure is my favorite i just go back to they do they do combat when they want to they do well i i'm not even going to take that asterisk away they 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 do combat very very well and i think when they can hone in on very specific mechanics i think that's when it, you start seeing the genius of their combat design and, and combat loop so that's why i've i've always liked sekiro more and that's why I, I look at the other variety of them and i go oh but bloodborne looks the most cool <laughs> like, i mean bloodborne you know. is sick as fuck yeah. the weapon system is really what was making me debate it yeah and that does offer a, a a variety of ways to play but it feels less impactful than the things you can do in Elden ring and i should say dark souls 3 like in terms of that in sekiro uh, on the placement of this list, those are the closest in terms of quality. I, like, I would say, what, what did you say? Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3? 3 and Sekiro? Because I put Dark Souls 3 over Sekiro. Yeah. But that's really just because when it comes to Souls games... You're just like, you're just like heavy dude with big stick. It's not even that. It's it, Actually, the gameplay is better in Sekiro. It's just that in Dark Souls 3, I like the level design more. And the key thing about Dark Souls and Soulsborne series is the bosses. I love the bosses. And Dark Souls 3 has some of the best overall showing of bosses in the entire franchise. So it doesn't have like consistently some of the best, like I would say Elden Ring does. But it, you, you're never disappointed with them, except for like one or two different boss fights. Or three, maybe. So that just puts it up in my mind yeah. higher. When I, I mean, from here, I'm just speaking out of ignorance. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I, would, I would agree that Sekiro doesn't have the most phenomenal level design. What's there is good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. But it's not like 
oh my god, I can't believe this is. But there are a couple moments where you go, oh, this is cool. You know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the palace, uh, big time. Uh, yeah, and like, and like from the outskirts of the palace into the sewers, and then you find a secret way back into the palace and so forth. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. You know? Um, but the, I mean, boss fights like. I think Sekiro just su does such a good job of running the gambit of boss fights. Like, there's, there's you know, real big dudes who are really tough. There's big dudes who aren't so tough. And then there's, like, real small guys who will, you know, push you or not. And then, like, they, they do a good job of, like, oh, these guys are the ones you're going to remember. And then these ones are just fun because you're going to get, they're going to provide a challenge. But you're going to get through them within a couple of attempts. What you described is, like, every Dark Souls boss like run really i would say right. the one exception to that i think is bloodborne i think it unfortunately doesn't dive too deep into it you know you're fighting against the guy who's your same size you're basically hunters together those are the best fights by far and some of the best in the entire soul series but overall the boss the bosses in bloodborne are some of the weakest not that they're bad they're just kind of like oh that's the, the next boss i beat let me tell you i've been itching for a really good combat game and i've been uh, bloodborne has crossed my mind a time or two in the last mm -hmm. week of loading that of loading that bad boy up and 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 trying again but I don't have the time. And you'd probably err on the and side. And I also think, I think Rebirth is going to provide me that, that boss fight itch. It probably will, yeah. yeah. Prince of Persia kind of does. Kind of. Mm. But not enough. Not the best yeah. that it has to offer. It's good. But, you know, they, they, they lean into Flash a mm -hmm. little bit sometimes. And, and you know, it's been, it's been brought up before. This is kind of a side point. But, Phil, you would really, really like Sekiro. Like, that's a I know. I mean, it's, it's on the combat. list of, of like... It's it's been on my backlog for a really long time. Mm -hmm. um, I think you should jump. To like Bloodborne at least ever since personally. at least ever since Elden Ring. Um, I do think I, I should play Bloodborne first. I agree with what Tavin says. That's it's also on like my backlog of games I need to play. Um, but like what's crazy is I I've been having such a weird hankering for playing uh, through the Ratchet games again. <laughs> Like, <laughs> what I a random jump! Uh, uh, I know, I know. It's just I've I've been I've been hungry for it, man. Like, well, now you got that PS3, Phil. I know. I know. There's a collection you, there, right? There's there's a collection. There, there. is, One, two, but here's three. the thing. And the here's the thing. Games. I think I think the ones that are on PlayStation Plus are the PS3 ones. You just like stream the, that version. I think that's what it is. So I don't know if I'll get any extra trophies doing that. So. I want to say the collection is on PlayStation Plus, but if you have a PlayStation 3, just buy and download them. Well, hang on. I just want to see something. Mm -hmm. You know? You can also pick up the, the PlayStation Vita. Double dip. Double dip. Dude, I, dude, I would love to have a Vita. But you I can buy one, one cheap, you I should. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> I don't know how cheap you'd get them. <laughs> not for cheap. Not, not for, for cheap. cheap. I've looked into it. And I'll tell you what. I've it's not it. the console that's the expensive part. <laughs> <laughs> Great. It's the, it's the, uh, it's the memory card. <laughs> One thirty-four dollars. Let me see. One hundred thirty-four anyway. for the console. I'm seeing that. Yeah. Uh, boys, real quick. Probably just like because eighty bucks for a decent size. I've been, I've been looking, card. I've been looking down for a while. So if y'all, if y'all can look at the show doc real quick and show that on stream. Oh. It's just, God. it's just okay. so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me. <laughs> nope, not this button. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> not that one. There it is. It's just so cute. It's a cat. Let me see. Can she she here? she hangs out under my desk. Look she got a little her. bed, all tied up, all all nice and cozy. She gets warmed by the by by the PlayStation Five. Yeah, by, by big boy. Yeah. yeah, it's hot. Well, <sighs> you become a cat guy now, Phil. You've been a cat guy. Always, but... I mean, I've been a cat guy for a few years now. Um, I uh, it, it's really cute because then Rue, the orange cat, she'll come and snuggle with her with uh, Olive here in the little cat bed, and it's adorable. That's nice. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> just have to fight. Anyway, Tavin, what do you have for us this week, buddy? Gentlemen, I also have, well, I have a traditional hit 10. Connor, I like that. That was fun. Nice. Um, uh, sorry, real quick. The reason that Ratchet popped into my head is because like, I thought about what I would do for a franchise. Is I was like, oh, what if I ranked the Ratchet games? That uh, that was fun, and that op yeah, that opened. I've now I can do that with I can imagine with all of them now, like that. I because I've been sitting here, I'm like, man, I can't fucking do a top ten of fucking Metal Gear games, like because mm. there's not ten worth talking about. Just do however much you can, you know. So now, now we can, now we can, and that's exciting. There we go, gentlemen. I have a hit ten, a classic hit ten. Of course, uh, if you are uh, a long-standing viewer, you would know. 
of Kingdom Hearts games too. That a hit 10 is when I go on the internet or I make one myself and I find uh, a top 10 list and I uh, give them each a number of points, uh, a point value, if you will. Number one is worth 10 points. Number 10 is worth one point and everything is inversed in between as so. The gentlemen will go back and forth and they will have five turns each to guess what is on the list. Uh, the, today, I went to thegamer.com. I don't the believe gamer. we've done this list because it, 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 it doesn't say updated. It just It's just a list. And it's also a list of like 28 games or whatever, 30 mm. games or whatever. So I just grabbed the top 10 of this. And it is the – we've done this type of list before, but I don't think we've done this one in specific because I like this list a lot and I feel like I would have remembered it because um, uh, it's unique. This is the top 10 games you can play on the PlayStation 4. Now – Notice I said you can play on the PlayStation 4. This does not mean we, it's a bunch of PS4 exclusives. We, yeah. we definitely did not do a hit 10 of this. We did it whenever you were just going through top 10 lists and we would like guess what's on them. That that probably um, that probably sounds correct. It might have been from IGN though. Even that, if it was from like, this one, which I doubt it was. I doubt it was. We were, we were, there's no way of remembering uh, uh, what's on here. And, you know, it'll be a good time. Phil, I'm going to start with you this week. Because yeah, you lost, fair. you lost the last game, and Connor won so hard the, the, in in his. So I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you to go first here. What is on uh, the top ten of the best PS4 games? These are not necessarily exclusives. Hmm. These are games you can just can play I, can on I, a PlayStation Four. Can I ask what year this uh, list came out, or like this list was? Pretty sure it's pretty published? recent. Pretty sure it's pretty, pretty recent. recent. Uh, updated two days ago. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So, just games you can play on PS4. Why are you updating a list about a PS4 in 2024? Yeah, know. right. That's, yeah. that's wild. That's wild. I kind of have to. I have to think a little bit about that because you uh -huh. know I, the first game that pops in my head might not be the correct answer because, as you said, it's not an exclusive. It doesn't have to be exclusive. It could be. Well, and then like, let me look at this. You got to think about like what is like the most popular like game in like that like kind of sphere you know mm -hmm. like what what yeah. are what are people playing you know it could be a multiplayer game could um be. so with that in mind i might i might be kind of taking a bullet here and i'm going to say fortnite damn fortnite is not on the list all right, I got mine lined up. <laughs> Connor's ready to go. Uh, let's go with my pick of Grand Theft Auto V. Ooh, yep. Grand Theft Auto V is not on the list. Damn. Yeah. Wow. That's like where game the most traction, though. Yeah, you know, the two, the two big games. Uh, again, I'll say this is a quality list here, gentlemen. Mm. One of which there's not a chance in hell you guys are guessing. The others, I would expect one of you to say it at least once. Mm -hmm. You know. Helldivers one, How but not off to a good start. <laughs> Helldivers one is a great pick, Connor. <laughs> bum, bum, you can bum, play bum. on PS4. I'm gonna say so many options. So many goddamn. I'll, options. I'll just say I'll just roll roll out and I'll say God of War Ragnarok. God of War Ragnarok is not on the list. Really? Yeah. That's um, wild. it's not there. I'm gonna go with. Oh, this is lame as fuck. Answer. God of War 2018. God of War yep. 2018, Connor, will net you six points. It is number four on the list. Okay. Nope. Seven points. Okay. Seven points. If it's number six, yeah. Or if it's number yeah. four, I should say. Number four. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. Damn. Congratulations, Beautiful. Connor. All right. Okay. Starting at seven. Here we go. Started I'll finally say, getting something on. I'll Pick say Red three. Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 is not on the list, Phil. Damn. Wow. Damn, 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 damn. Uh, I'm gonna I co-sign that. Red Dead Redemption 2, overrated. Dash. Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Connor, Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt is number two on the list, granting you nine more points. Okay. Okay. Jesus Bring you to a total Jesus of 16 points. Phil, yet to get on the board here, jumping to his fourth title? Yes, fourth, uh, yeah, fourth, fourth guess. Yeah. Got to start putting up some numbers here, buddy. Last was part two. Yeah. Number one. Shockingly, The Last of Us Part Two is not on the list. Damn. Jesus, Phil. The Last of Us One? <laughs> the Last of Us One is also not on the list. Okay. 
So here we go. Dang, you said this is I a thought quality I list. I would have blown my brains out if, if I if I said <laughs> the wrong game in the franchise for the second time in a row. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Wonder, yeah, Phil, you can't you can't win here, I but you can win. at least you know close the gap. Maybe you get this number one answer. You know. Uh, Final Fantasy VII remake. Final Fantasy VII remake is on the list. It is number five, granting you six five, points. Six points. Connor, I'm trying to go Abismal. for gold here. One. Abysmal. Yay. The cookie crumbles, and sometimes it crumbles in a yeah. way that you don't like. I have um, I'm going to be mad I, if it's on there. There's there's something in my soul yeah. telling me to say this game. Yeah? But I'm not going there. No? It's too easy. Is it? So i got to think of something deeper. No, nah, I'm going to go with it. Bloodborne. It's not number one, but I'm going to go with it. Connor, Bloodborne is... Not on the list. Say it. Say Number it. three on the list. Oh, shit. Okay. Granting okay. you eight more points. There you go. Congratulations, Connor. You fucking nailed it for Here once. We go. Well, you didn't nail it, but you know, you did you did you did good enough. You did good enough. I'm just curious to what number one. I'm is. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad <laughs> if it's on there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Minecraft. Not on there. Ooh. Thank God. <laughs> Not on there. I feel like maybe I should have read some some highlights or whatever. Or, or, or uh, when looking at the best games that you can play on this console, it's hard to narrow it down with so many genre-defining, massively celebrated titles all housed on one console. However, this list narrows down some of the best experiences you can have on the PlayStation 4, no matter your preferences. What is number Interesting. one? Resident Evil 2 remake on there? Nope. Not on the 10, at least. Uh, number 10, Death Stranding. What? I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's sliding into 10, but... Not Last of Us, huh? Right. <laughs> not on my top 10 list you know <laughs> you know last was part two boom right yeah. up there right up there that's what cool. yeah i thought when you said it was a quality list it is was, a, and it is a quality list yeah, let me but, get through it let me get through it number nine a niche pick dragon quest 11 uh yeah you know, you know fine respectable people like that game people like it number eight connor near automata okay sure yeah it, hey, <laughs> you know he doesn't get enough respect it gets a pretty good amount of respect. It gets really a lot of respect. respect. Yeah, right. okay, good. <laughs> That's good a lot. You cannot yeah. say that game does not get enough respect. Number seven, Persona 5 Royal. Mm. Number six, Marvel's Spider-Man. Uh, number five, Phil said it, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Number four, Connor said it, God of War 2018. Number three, Connor again, Bloodborne. Number two, Connor again, The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. wait. wait. Can I guess what number one? Guess is? what number one is? Is it Phantom Pain? No. Okay. No funny. fucking way. I would. Yeah. I would have. <laughs> that would have been that, that. You throw the list in the garbage um, if you put Phantom Pain. I'm gonna say. One. Let me throw out. Um, and I like that game. Yeah, oh, and I, Elden Ring. No. What? I, that's considered more of a PS5 game. No, it didn't really come out when the PS5 was out yet. I don't believe. Yeah, it did. What are you talking about? It definitely <laughs> did. That was a 2022 a 20... game. I did play 2022, Connor. Yeah, For some idiot. reason, I feel like I played that on the PS4, but no. I know. Yeah, I know. I mean, you can Number, still. It's still playable on the PS4, though. So. Yeah. Number one, Hades. Oh, that's based. I mean, that's that's really good. <laughs> yeah, <see? laughs> but it's like <laughs> it's never associate Maybe. that with PlayStation. It's always like a Switch game in my mind. Yeah, I mean, and that's, I have that's I've a that game I also twice. don't associate it with PlayStation either. I, it's just a game like mm -hmm. is out there. But you know, if you're not going to limit I, yourself I, to exclusives, so granted, my, none my of this list is none of this list is still exclusive to PlayStation. But um, still. I'll say sorry, my microphone's like coming apart here. Um, I'll say oh. my first thought when thinking of of Hades is. Of a Switch. Uh, that said, I platinumed it on PlayStation twice. twice. That's because you're there a platinum go. gamer. Phil, so you're talking into the back, the back of the microphone. I know, I'm trying to fix it. Yeah. So, uh, so here I'm just gonna scroll through here because I haven't looked that closely. Number tw it starts at number twenty eight, being control based. Mm -hmm. Number twenty seven, Slay the Spire. Twenty six, The Last of Us. More of a PS three game. Also yeah. On PlayStation five. Number twenty five is Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Played on a PS5. Number 24 is Stray. Putting Stray yeah. in one spot above Elden Ring is fucking hey, wild. Hey, they like Holy cats. Shit. Yeah. Uh, number 23, Thumper. Cool for Thumper. Hmm. Number 22, Resident Evil 4 remake. Didn't know that was on the PlayStation 4. Because people didn't associate it with it. Yeah. Number 21, no absolutely fucking not. What are you smoking? Number 21, Cyberpunk 2077. 
Guys. Didn't He's fucking work on the on the fucking PlayStation Four. Discord. Number yeah. twenty, Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. What I've the fuck that. are you smoking? <laughs> that's no. like that's like a wannabe Jet Set Radio. Like, come on. This guy has a particular taste, you know? Number 19 is Cult of the Lamb. Number 18, Saints Row 4. What? Not, I'm not mad at Saints Row. No, Saints Row's not a top 20. No, it's not. <laughs> not, not on PS4. No. Number 17, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. That I'll give you top 20 on the 360. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, number 16... Adelir Riza, Ever Darkness, and the Secret Hideout. Holy shit! Who? Okay, so Hellier, when, are you kidding me? Yeah, when you were reading this top ten list, it was like Dragon Quest Eleven. Okay, that makes sense. And then it was Persona Five Royal, and I was like, this guy likes JRPGs. He likes JRPGs. If he's putting that there, he likes he JRPGs. Likes JRPGs. <laughs> Number fifteen, Resident Evil Two Remake. He's got thick thighs. Nah, That's the whole thing. That's a top five. Number fourteen, Red Dead Redemption Two. If you can 2. play Elden Ring, if you can play Elden Ring on any platform. That immediately puts it at top 10 for that platform. I, I don't care who you are. I understand with PS4 and them being like, eh, we, we have more PS4 games than Elden Ring. Number 14, Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 13, Gravity Rush Remastered. <laughs> People like Gravity Damn. Rush, I guess. Yo, this list, I'm going to be honest, this list sucks, but the top 10 is fine. Yeah. Uh, number 12, Monster Hunter World. Though? That's a, That's appropriate. Number 11, Horizon Zero Dawn. That's appropriate. And then, as I said, number 10, Death Stranding. Number 9, Dragon Quest XI. Number 8, Near Automata. Number 7, Persona 5 Royal. Man, this guy really likes Japanese games. Yeah. Uh, number 6, Marvel Spider-Man. Zero Ratchet and Clank Love. 5, Final Fantasy VII Remake. PS4. Ra- what games mean, really like, substantially came is out Is anybody going to say Ratchet had his best outing on the PlayStation 4? You got, no. You know, you got a, you got a but, pretty good remake can- of the first game. But you can play, but you can play the original trilogy on PS4. Yeah, through PS Plus collection, like you can't like act or or through streaming. What was what was PS Now? That's not PS really now, playing yeah. it on playing it on PS4. Uh, God of War number four, Bloodborne number three, Witcher number two, Hades number one. I'll be honest, I like the top ten. I don't like the rest of this list. No, yeah, the rest no. of this list seems aimless. You're just grabbing random fucking titles, man. Where's Last of Us Part 2? Where's Ghost of Tsushima? Where's Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain? Where's, um, what's another really great PlayStation 4 game? Dark Souls 3. That I'm missing. Dark Souls 3, appropriate. Sekiro. Sekiro. Where's that? Yeah. You know? Uh, Resident Evil 2 was too low. Resident Evil 4, like, should not be on the list. I understand you can play it on a PlayStation 4. Yeah, that shouldn't like, have been on there. That's, yeah. not a, that's not a PlayStation 4 game. Especially with the ones you left off on that list. doesn't make sense to put that there. Literally. Stop putting next-gen titles on... Just because it came out on, on, the, on the old shit doesn't, doesn't mean it's an old shit game, you know? Mm-hmm. Well. Well, well, well. That was a piggy bank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they yeah, call it. Uh, no, this is a good episode. I like I like those games that we had. Uh, pretty good variety. Uh, last two games were similar, but like different enough. I think. I've, it wasn't one like one of those weeks where we have like two hit tens in a row. Yeah. You know, where there we was one episode we had the bottom three. of the It was like, barrier. oh man, guys, we got to do something here. This is not appropriate. <laughs> do something different, you know. And then, I, and then I saved us. And I saved us with uh, with mashups. You know, I saved us. Mashups the spark sparked our creativity. He's taking credit for this. Yeah, I, I kind of feel right. like I like I back to back to new games, <laughs> and and then there's been new games like every other week since then. So like I don't know, um, I don't know if their mashup <laughs> games sparked it all. As a feel being up on um, Mount Olympus, huh, Phil? I, it feels the great. You know, copying I'm, I'm, the gods. I'm above, I'm above you guys on the screen, so you know, you know take it. Yeah, get them um, out of the screen. Change that take us to no, the, uh, the the podcast we we're What's working on, Daddy. How you doing? <laughs> He's got you <laughs> one. No, Tavin, try to match what I'm saying with, with your lips while I do the outro. You ready? Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. We're doing the outro. I'm trying to mess Tavin up, uh, but, you know, it's not coming out right. He's he's. It looks like an anime, kind of, because he's, like, behind me with what I'm saying. And it's, like, it's like a very badly dubbed anime. Well, you got uh, anyway. to remember your delay, so you're going to look wrong. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. If you think I'm going to cook... We're going to do it different. You guys seen that video, right? What are we talking about? It's like if uh, Breaking Bad was dubbed and it's just like 
over exaggerated oh, no, voice talking that. of like Jesse talking. It's right. very funny. that's funny though. Yeah. All right. No one got. Um, okay. Anyway, after this, uh, I believe you guys are going to be recording the. Can you go back? Can you go back to the regular screen? You fucking <laughs> jackass. Anyway. After this, you guys are going to be doing the the uh, Two Penny Games cast, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and make my happy ass over to y'all's apartment so you can watch Advent Children. We're watching Advent Children, the director's cut, before we watch Rebirth, or before we play Rebirth. Well, Phil's got to go play Remake, but, you know, and then we'll play Rebirth. Phil, what was that nod? Are you playing Remake first? I don't I mean, believe he's, you he's are. He started it. Oh, I know he has. I don't... Tavin. He's not very far. This in fucking it. guy's not gonna not play Rebirth. He's I don't, even, I don't even think he's done the second I may or may not yet. still be in chapter three. Yeah, he isn't. Oh, yeah, he's, Jesus. Yeah, he's still uh, hanging out in sector, sector seven. Yeah. Oh, go play that. Don't come over here. Go play that. No, come over here. No, he needs to. That, cause of, oh, yes, he needs to see he the needs line to see read. The, yeah, what? The line read. Which one? Where's mother? Oh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Oh, where is mother? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I might also uh, go ahead and you know, don't cry. Already kind of knows, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got a little flash drive here that I'm gonna bring you guys with uh, with what what we may or may not be playing in March. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. I see. Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. For a game club, you know, very well. We already know what it is. Very well. But you don't, audience. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Piggy Bank. What is your favorite Soulsborne game? Uh, what do you think is the coolest uh, logo that uh, a gang ha- or a, a group has a faction in uh, in video games? And uh, you know, how wrong was that the gamer like list from eleven to twenty? Right? Like how how fucking wrong? Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one, boys. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye.